now going to add a new project to the solution. So if we click on the solution node here and right click and add new project. Console app again and I'm going to call this Chai Overload. This is going to be about overloaded functions. So uh, I'll kill all this actually. Go back to the previous project and do a bit of copying to save typing. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the whole lot, paste it in, get rid of a lot of this, um, art from, yeah, come back to this, it's all of the classes first. So in the accumulator class, I'm going to add an overloaded function. So avoid overload, first of all I'll take uh, an integer. And uh, I'll just right. So and I'll just print out what was passed in. I'm going to copy that and hack it. Notes. So come down here now, and what we want is uh, chai dot add chai script fun. I use a static cast, otherwise it can't tell which one you're dealing with. This will be the int one. Uh, we need the right angle bracket, and then the address of the function, which is overload. Wait a minute, this is getting way too long. So we use this static cast to cast this to the appropriate function signature so it knows which one we're dealing with and we call it overload and we do this again but this time the float version it's a point did i make those const yeah perhaps i should uh, specify it's const so that looks i think okay so we do what we did before Although these functions aren't virtual or anything, and we're not doing polymorphism, it's nice to see that it can access them in this manner. So auto ret overloaded int member func something wrong here yeah it's because I haven't finished okay so the script function is going to take a pointer to an accumulator and an integer as parameters and script functions I'm going to do it for the other one because I have two of these two uh, no we're not going to have two script functions are we I'll explain why when we write the script that's going to be float and change that to float. That's still too long. Last of all, we actually call them. We want to put in, say, a hundred point one, two, three, F. On that, got to write the script and the script in the scripts chai is def call overloaded member func. 
Now, Low Chi Scripts has some degree of static or strip typing. In fact, in some instances, it can be strict on the C++. Um, if you don't specify the type in the parameter list here, this is sort of dynamic. So when we call it with a float, this will be x will be a float when we with an integer it will become an integer and call the appropriate c plus plus function accordingly i suppose we'll to see whether this works now now we've got more than one project in this solution we've got chai poly and chai overload you've got to choose which one is going to be the default startup one so we right click on chai overload and choose set as startup project and it goes bold and if i run this should work as expected so there we are the first of all calls the integer version of overload function and x10 was passed and the float version x was 100.123 might be interesting to see what happens if we do this we pass a float to the integer version I suspect it will just chop it off the floating point part. Yeah, As that's actually happening at the C++ level, I think, because this is a C++ function and it takes an in. C++ will slice off the redundant floating point part. That's it for overloads.